Okay, so we are on canva.com and today we are going to make a dinosaur birthday party invitation. So to use Canva, you do need a free account and all the things that I'm going to be using today are going to be free. So we are going to start with, we're going to type in the search bar, invitation, we're going to go with a landscape. So it's wider than it is tall. Scroll down till we find one that we like. I think I'm going to start with this. Hmm, well they have a dinosaur one on here. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but we'll start there just for the template. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these dinosaurs. I don't love them. Alright. Join us for a Oops. party. Uh oh. Oop, good thing they have an undo button. It is up here in the top left. Join us for a birthday bash. And then you just click on each one of these text boxes and then you can edit this text. Um, we're going to do. Waylon is turning three. Then you can put in your information, everything there. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the far left. You're going to see it says templates and then it says elements. We're going to click elements. And from here you can search anything on Canva. So we're going to go ahead and search dinosaur. And they've got all these little cute dinosaurs. I like this Stegosaurus. If you just click him, it'll put him onto your screen. Let's see, the uh, corner box of the graphic, you can resize him there. I'm gonna, oops, put him over here. Uh, this particular invitation has some kind of like speckledy background. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that for now. And then I... When you click on an image, back over here on the left you see all the images, it'll do this magic recommendation which is kind of cool. And then it'll show you similar graphics or graphics that are done by the same person so that you can find the similar style I like this guy too. We're gonna put him on there. And I'm kind of looking for a T Rex or something. Hmm. There's one, but he's pro. Blasmosaurus, he's cute. Um, hmm. Spinosaurus. My son likes dinosaurs, so I've learned a lot of their names. Let's see. Maybe we'll go with this guy right here. Whoa. So what just happened there was I dragged him and I dropped him, so he filled up the space. I'm just going to click him. Okay. So we've got our little dinosaurs. I'm going to move our wording around a little bit. Right now all the wording in this template is grouped together. So if you wanted to ungroup that and move each text box individually, you could go up here to more and ungroup. And then you can, oops, then you can pull these apart and move it if you need to. If it doesn't quite fit with your graphics, you can adjust it a little bit. Okay. So 
so I'm happy with that. Just for fun, we're going to click on one of these guys and we're going to hit edit image up here on the top. So you can do this photogenic, and so you can you know, kind of play with the different shades, which is kind of cool. So if you're Son's favorite color is a certain one. You can change it to that color palette or this color mix. Let's see what I got there. Can play with different colors too. Mm, I kind of like the funky colors. Let's try that with the other one. Oops. Let's see. Color mix. Hmm. Maybe this one. And then let's do that one again. Color mix. Hmm. All of these are kind of gray. He doesn't have much color. Maybe let's try the photogenic on him. Here's some different colors. Uh, I kind of like the blue. Okay. So there we have that. And then we can change the colors of these fonts. Click on them. And then up this top tool menu. Click the A for text color. And then it can either pull colors from your graphics here. Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Purple or green, maybe, that is in this little pterodactyl guy. Yeah, stick with green. Blue? Mm. Maybe I like blue. It's one of the things I love about Canva, is you can just play with it, change all sorts of things, until you get it just right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to regroup this text box just for fun so nothing gets wonky. So if you click them, hold the shift key, and then you can click each box. You've got all of them selected. Go up to these three little dots for your more, and then you can hit group again. So you can move them all together again. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color on this line. Okay, so I am happy with that. And we are going to Oops. We're gonna click this um, you get your stuff printed. It's right up here in this corner. So they can actually print this finished card that you just made. There's no extra steps. There's no other companies you have to send it to. You can download it yourself um, if you want to and print them yourself, of course. But I love that they have this option. And they're not that expensive. I mean, you get 50 for $27. I would include envelopes just to make it easy on yourself. Um, it says you can do an in-store pickup available at a FedEx office store for free. So that's kind of cool. You could save yourself on shipping. And let's see. If you add a page, um, we're just going to duplicate this page. It's right at the top of your invitation here with these two little pages and a plus sign. So if you have two pages, you can do two pages. Let your pages do that. Okay. Oh, double sided. That's what we're missing. Okay, so you can do them double sided. So if you wanted to do a design on the back or you needed a place for more information, I'm going to delete the. Whoops. Delete this text off of here. And we're just going to move our little happy dinosaurs around a little bit. 
and that will be our our background. Okay, we're gonna hit continue just for fun. They're gonna ask you to make sure everything's inside the print window so it doesn't get cut off. And then you can uh, download a proof if you want to. So there is our dinosaur birthday invitation. If you are looking for done for you birthday party templates, there is a link in the description below to all of my pre made templates for party supplies, invitations, thank you notes, um, banners, cupcake toppers, everything that you could need for your party. Thanks for watching.